Good luck to your ball. Touch gloves. Touch gloves. Good luck, lads. He comes to the ring wearing a kilt, but he has done. That's Marcel Zeller. Round one. And Tyson Fury with one big knockout win now goes looking for another one. Tall fellow Fury needs to keep his concentration. Zeller will be dangerous in the early stages. He's got this sort of street fighter style, Zeller. Tyson Fury will know all about that one. A few from his community, Dad included, who could do a bit on the cobbles. I'd like to see a much more cautious approach from, from Fury in the first round, at least, because, you know, Zeller's going to come swinging and winging for him. Just needs to be just, just a bit cautious. He's got the height, he's got the reach. Oh, that's a good right hand. Zeller felt that one, really good quality shot. Come on, let's have a bit more. Well, I think Tyson will probably oblige, but he can't afford to get careless. A that's a good quality uppercut, really good right hand from Fury. And he senses that he might be able to end his man here in the first. That's a terrific right uppercut. Well, Zeller is hardly fleet of foot. He's not slipping anything. And he almost walked into another vicious uppercut there. Well, he's done well so far, Zeller, to stand up to this attack. Because Fury's putting everything into every punch. And catching him quite cleanly. Big uppercut again. Employs that right hand with great effect. Zeller still on his feet, you know, we've seen guys fall over from lesser punches. Well, there's only so many he can take, surely. Zeller doing that, he's doing no more than just covering up now. Oh, he's hurt, make no mistake about that. The body shot and the head shot, everything's hurting. He's keeping his defence, he's keeping his composure. Fury, incidentally, looks very much physically better than he did on his debut. He came back from uh, honeymoon on that occasion, went in at 18 stone 9, this time 18 stone 1, and he looks a far fitter man. This is a dangerous shot, that's swinging overhand right from Zeller. Well, he'll need to be... Fury, he'll need to be on his game because you know, this guy hasn't fallen over or looked to take the easy way out. Another terrific uppercut from Fury, but Zeller takes it again. And still in there. The man with the big knockout record, 20 knockout wins in his 21 victories against three defeats. He heard him himself before the fight, he said, either I knock you out or I lose. Don't see too many heavyweights in this day using that jab. It's better when he uses it and puts the right hand through. But, you know, he works the body really well as well for a big, big man as he is. Zeller, incidentally, while you were at the advertising break, was getting one or two rather interesting words in his corner, which uh, I can tell you were amusing, but possibly better not be repeated verbatim. Suffice to say that the opening uh, shot was, well, you lost the war and you are losing this as well. But it was a bit, he said a little bit more than that. Well, first blood to Fury, as you'd imagine. Zeller's nose is bleeding now. There was a lot of laughter from those who heard what was said, incidentally. <laughs> Even a wry smile from Zeller. Tyson is putting a lot into these. And Zeller's suggesting he's not being hurt. Fury's just got to be careful that he doesn't punch himself out. Absolutely. You know, he's got a game Zeller in front of him. Very game indeed. Oh, 
that's a good shot. Another shake of the head. Those are big punches from Fury. Zella takes them all. And here comes some more. There's something a bit Foreman-esque, isn't there, about the way he wings in those hooks and uppercuts. He's been told by his own corner men between rounds, don't just lie on the ropes, because as you do so, the referee's looking and he will stop it. Saying just before the interval there, that advertising break, Duke, that uh, Tyson Fury, there's something a bit foremanish the way he swings those big damaging hooks and uppercuts. Absolutely. He puts everything into every punch when he starts to tee off. It will take its toll if he can't maintain it. Oh, it's a good left hand, it's all over, I think. No, it's not. No, he's just uh, indicated timeout. There's a low blow. There's a low blow. He's in a bit of a mess. I hope that there is something under that kilt. If not, it would be really damaging. I think he is wearing an abdominal protector. Let's hope so. Otherwise, it could be something which lives with him for some time. Yeah. Even as it is, he's in a lot of pain. He's got a protector on. The referee will give him time to get over. It was a slightly low blow, but it was the power that was delivered to it. Let's have a look again there. There's the low one. There may have been another one as well on the blind side. And he's being given time by Howard Foster. In theory, he can have five minutes, can't he? Absolutely. He's taken away saying, I'm OK. Well, to be honest, I think uh, you'd probably say, have a bit more time, mate, but he wants to get on with it. He's a hard guy, Marcel Zeller. He certainly is. There are a few Scottish flags, incidentally, in the crowd. Of course, they're here to fight to support Lee McAllister, who's fighting later on. But they were giving Marcel Zeller, kilt and all, plenty of cheers when he came into the ring. He's been told by his corner that he's got to roll in, got to get into range, and not just lie back on the ropes. Easier said than done. If you can catch him with one of the uppercuts that he throws, the right uppercut in particular, which he throws with a lot of venom, the fight will be over. Fury just looking for his opportunity, content to jab his way in and then land clubbing body shots like that. That was a big right hand, that one which hammered into the ribcage. Fury doing a better job in this round of keeping his hands up, but just nearly stopped a right hand there. To keep the hands up, chin down, breathing heavily. Fury put a lot of effort in. A little bit of an idiosyncrasy. He took a right hand there as well. There's an idiosyncrasy as he just pulls at the at the waistband of his shorts and his protector, Tyson Fury. And as he does so, just leaves himself open to those overhand rights. That's a good shot. Kilt came up a bit there. Now, the referee's got to be having a look here. Howard Foster is poised. He's saying to Zeller, you've got to do something, you've got to throw. Bravely, the German is still there and still trying to land. Oh, There's the uppercut. the uppercut again, Duke. That hurt. That really hurt. He will have to throw back. The referee will stop this fight. Make no mistake if these punches are not answered. Zella complaining that was low and it's been stopped. It's been stopped by the referee and he is furious about that. He dropped his gloves because he said it was a low blow and he is furious about that. He's a proud.